and through and kicking off the main card we have a meeting between Norway and Finland as Z Zelim Zubarayev takes on Mika Kalio. Yes, the first fight of the main card, Zelim Zubarayev, a striker from Norway who has also trained a lot here in Sweden. I saw him, I seen him way back in the amateur days, back in 2016. He looked very, very dominant back then. Very excited to see him fight here tonight. Yeah, this is his much awaited FCR debut, but he's not getting easy competition in the form of the Finnish boxer Mika Kalio, who's moving down a couple divisions. Yeah, you, you mentioned earlier he, he used to be a light heavyweight. So he's bringing that power down to the welterweight division. Vicious elbows, very solid on the feet. This is a very closely contested match. I can't wait to see who pulls out the victory. Oh, yeah. I mean, we just have basically a candy box of fantastic fights awaiting us. We are locked, stocked, ready to rock. Let's not delay any longer and kick things off with the first fight of the night. Getting that pulse pounding with this banger of a walk-in track, we have the Finnish boxer Mika Kalio. This is actually his third scheduled time to compete in FCR. He's been matched up twice against uh, fan favorite Nabe Malki. Unfortunately, that fight has fallen out both times, but he is a stoic, tough, hard-nosed Finn who's here to do one thing, and that is fight. He is a 2018 Finnish MMA champion, and he also is a 2016 and 2017 silver medalist. He trains under Finnish veteran Alexi Toivonen at the famed 03 fight team. And this is a guy who has worked as, or sorry, has repped the Finnish national MMA team in both the 2016 and 2017 world championships. So a very, very skilled and experienced guy who has, like I said, competed in higher weight divisions. Now he's here at welterweight, which I truly think is the correct division for him. And he's coming in here ready to prove that he is another Finn to be reckoned with here in FCR. For sure. Stoic is all, like all Finns, uh, but he handles himself well there in there, Kate, putting that that undefeated record on the line here tonight. 2-0 versus 2-0. But I feel like when I watched him fight, he just handles problems well. I feel like the fight comes to him and he handles uh, the, 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 the fight his opponent brings the fight to him and he handles it well is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but I'm in complete agreement there. I mean, he's kind of like one of those fighters who's got a bit of an answer for everything yeah. that's presented to him. And I mean, let's not forget that knockout power in his final uh, amateur bout. Uh, he faced the very hyped talent Romeo Tanvera and KO'd him early in the second round in a vicious finish. And he works as an engineer, so expect him to be calm, collected and very constructive here tonight. Mm -hmm. And I think the after party is starting early here based yeah. on this walk-in song. I feel like I'm in the 90s again. And speaking of being scheduled to compete at FCR, but a fight falling through way back at FCR 8 in March of 2021, Zelim Zubarayev was pitted up against Alejandro Tout Parfait. Unfortunately, Tout Parfait got injured and the fight was scrapped. But now the Norwegian is back here, coming off of a very strong submission victory in the very first round over his countryman Henrik Lie in September of last year. This is a guy who trains at both Frontline and All-Stars. So basically, he trains at the two most famed and highly touted gyms in all of Northern Europe. And you got to think, CM, that training with the best will produce similar results. For sure. And I called his fight back in September, and it was a pretty seamless, easy victory for uh, Zubayev. Uh, coming off that round one submission victory here tonight. He's riding the wave. He's riding the confidence. He must have had some kind of break, because I remember seeing him way back you know, in, in, in 2015, 2016 in the amateur circuit. And, you know, he, he fought, you know, as an amateur at the same time as Hamza Shimaev. Yeah. Uh, then Shimaev, you know, everyone knows what happened with him. He went on to great heights and Zubayev is sitting here at 2-0. and So something must have happened along the way. But now he's back in full form and ready to ride that wave again. 
Yeah, I do believe he was dealing with a bit of an injury, and then he had a ton of fights fall through between his first and second pro fight. But luckily, no, no hiccups on the way to the cage here in Stockholm, Sweden. He's ready to make his FCR debut. And uh, coming off of a unique training camp that included some snowboarding with Hamza Chimaev last month. So I'm sure his balance is going to be on top. Before we start this first bout of the main card, let's check out the tail of the tape. Let's see how these two fighters stack up against their two undefeated prospects out of the Norway and Finland, respectively. Kalio slightly older and Zubariev slightly taller. Now, that being said and done, let's hand it over to Tricky Ricky Wright for the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, as we join viewers from around the world, live and exclusive on UFC Fight Pass, this is Fight Club Rush 19 from the beautiful city of Stockholm, Sweden! <laughs> Fight Club Rush presents three five-minute rounds at a contracted weight of 79 kilograms. Introducing first in the blue corner, he is undefeated with two wins. Weighing in the 78.9 kilograms, fighting out of Finland, Mika Kalio! And his opponent in the red corner, he is also undefeated at two wins. Weighing in the 78.7 kilograms, representing Norway, Zalim Zuparaihe! Your referee in charge of the action, Kevin Sataki. Okay, a Nordic clash here between Finland's Mika Kalio in the blue corner and Norway's Zelim Zubarev in the red. Touch of gloves and here we go. And as mentioned, Calder does come from a boxing ra background. He has some fast hands, but uh, Zubaraev also some great striking. You might think if you just see his last name, but he's only a wrestler, but he's got a full bag of tricks, I assure you that. And Zubaraev being coached here from all angles and all languages. Yep. Swedish from the corner and Russian from Shemaev. And it's an all-star corner in for uh, Zalim as he has both Guram Kutateladze and uh, Reza Madadi in his corner. Some real veterans of Swedish MMA there. Leg kick lands nicely. We know about boxers, they can be heavy on that front leg. And Kalio, he had, oh, very nice counter right hand. Yeah, that's that boxing background for you. And he had a bit of a controversial pro debut last year uh, against uh, Zalim's countryman, Quinton de Vroit. It was a split decision. I, I can see it have gone either way. It was one of the scorecards. It was a 30-27 that was quite discussed. But Calio, he didn't leave it to the judges after that. He's coming off of a brutal second-round knockout victory over Marcos Jose de Souza in November of last year. There's a takedown attempt from Zelim. And he gets it. Oh, yep. and as we said, handling problems. That's what Kalio can do. Nice reversal there. And just a really effective guy. I mean, doesn't mince words. He's not the biggest talker. He's not easy to interview. But he puts all his strength and energy where it counts inside the cage. Very nice evasiveness there from Kalio. Yeah, I like that defense. <laughs> Jab to the body there for the fin. Kalio, extremely experienced on the Finnish amateur circuit. He's got an amateur record of 19 and 12. That is a crazy amount of experience. And most of that is on a very high level against very good competition. Some no 
noticeable redness under the right eye of Zalim. Nice, solid, straight hand there from the boxer. Mm -hmm. Great hand speed and nice movement. Oh, deep shot. Again, solid defense, though, from Khalil. I mean, don't get me wrong, I thought Calio looked good in his pro debut, but he has improved leaps and bounds since then. Gamesmanship from both fighters there. I mean, some clear mutual respect between these Nordic fighters. Ooh, nice. Quick hands from Calio. Man, that straight right of his was like a pistol. I really like how Zalim is backing up in a straight line like that. If he does it more than once, then, I mean, Kalio could very well unleash a flurry. And, of course, Norway still hasn't legalized MMA, forcing all of its fighters to compete abroad. I mean, of course, we're happy to have the likes of Zelim Zubarayev here, but you got to think that they would be comfortable fighting at home as well. Hopefully the lawmakers can make something happen there. Oh, a nice little connection there from the Norwegian, but Calio responds in turn. Ooh. At the end there, and he got oh. cut bad. Calio got cut bad at the very, very last second of the first round. Gushing cut. I mean, but that cut opened up quickly. <laughs> And that could definitely give Calio some prom. Oh, that is a, that's a grisly gash there in the forehead. I mean, and it's dripping over the eye. I mean, it could, it's in a place where it could very well run down the eyebrow and go on the side of the face, but that remains to be seen. And obviously, when you're in the thick of it, anything can happen, really. <laughs> One wonders, like, how much does that cut turn the tide of battle? Because I thought that Kali was really putting his combinations together very nicely. Yeah, he was. And uh, also, like, this minute of rest is very different for both fighters. Uh, you know, Zabayrayev is relaxing in his corner, taking it easy. Whereas Kali is stressing, you know, ha having doctors on him and being like, hey, can I continue? What's going on? How much uh, am I bleeding? You can't like, relax in the same way and catch your breath. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a lot more anxiety for sure. Okay, it looks like the blood is running down the side of a face, which is definitely much better for Kalio, but I do think that there will be a, a much larger sense of urgency from the finish corner following that. Whoa! What a not, I did not see that coming. Wow. Oh, that was bad. Oof. Oh, my goodness. I mean, talk about starting off the main card with a bang. Lots of turning of the tides here tonight. You think it's going one way, and then it ends up going another. Here we have a Let's replay. Have a look at that again. Oh, oh, right on the button. Right on the button. Oof. My goodness. And closing atop the cage now is the limb. Wow, what?
what a performance that was. And, you know, he started kind of doing what uh, what Kalio was doing and just kind of rolling with a punch, yeah. adapting to the situation. Yeah, let's hope Mika Kalio is uh, okay. He's being tended to right now. Yeah, the cage side position, taking a close look and making sure that he gets back in good spirits. Yeah, it was a short elbow. It's like they both kind of threw at the same time, but because uh, Zalim threw the elbow from a different angle, he could connect a little bit quicker. Okay, and Kalio seems to be coming to now. Let's take another look at the action there. Mika Kalio was doing well, man. He was doing yeah. well. Slipping, bobbing and weaving, nice boxing, but man, can get caught. Yeah, that's the thing. Anyone can get caught, and you always got to respect the skills of your opponent. You truly never know. And a great shine show of sportsmanship here between these two top-notch athletes. Kalio will be back from this for sure. A tough loss. No doubt about it. But I'd say the ceiling for both of these fighters is very high. Yeah, that's the name of the game. Kalio is going to be asking what happened for a while. Yeah. It's, uh, it's high highs and low lows for sure for the winners and losers, respectively. That's the name of the game. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin Sataki calls stop the action at 21 seconds of round number two. For your winner by knockout and still undefeated, Zelim Zubarayev! All right, I'm here for our winner, Zelim Zubarayev. What a performance, what a knockout. It was a long time coming to get you to FCR. You were supposed to compete way back at FCR 8. That fight ended up not coming into fruition, but here you are. It was worth the wait. How do you feel about your third pro victory? I feel good, brother, here in Stockholm. My brothers here, they come from Norway, you know, Hamza, Guram, Reza, Bilal, everybody. My brother Ali here. Everybody, thank you. I'm very happy. This guy is was tough, you know. He finish, finish fighters. They, we, we know they are tough. So much respect to him. But today, my bit is all the work can go to hell, but I should win today. Thank you. Well, I mean, it was a pretty close first round. He was putting together combinations. You both had your moments, but then you landed that strike that opened up a huge cut on his face just at the very end of a first round. Yeah. What were you thinking and feeling heading to your corner? Yes, I, you know, I hear, I think it's Hamza screaming like, uh, do, uh, uh, what is his name? Elbow. Yeah, do elbow. So uh, maybe someone, another one, I don't know. I just do elbow and it's good. So we have uh, Kamza Chimaev to thank for this knockout victory. Yes, yes my brother Chimaev, everybody. You know, Guram, Jabba, Bilal. It's many guys here, you know. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, it was awesome having you here. I'd say it was definitely worth the wait. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for your winner. And still undefeated, Selim Zubarayev. I open, open to everyone, anyone. Let's go. I want to fight everyone. What a first fight here for the main card. My goodness, that was a vicious 
And the fight was yeah. great up was until a... that moment as well. Yeah, absolutely. And again, I felt like Kalio won the first round, so... I, I think uh, I'll be interested to see the judges' scorecards. I'm inclined to agree. I also think that he probably edged it out, even despite that, uh, even despite that cut that was opened up at the very end. Yeah, true. Yeah, but 